So I want to go over a couple of just very brief tips about intubating with the King Vision video laryngoscope. So this is the device and this plug is not usually in here. We have this plug in just for uh, video capture. There are two blades that come with the King Vision system. There is a channeled blade and a non-channeled blade. If you can see the channel running right here, this is the channeled blade. Now we use this blade exclusively. We don't use the non-channeled blade and my tip is to always use the channel blade. Now the reason for that is this is also a hyper acute blade. Both of the King Vision blades are hyper acute and what that means is this uses a non-displacing technology. For example it goes in and wraps around the airway structures, the mandible and the tongue and has a camera at the end to give you a great view of the epiglottis and the vocal the glottic opening. As opposed to direct laryngoscopy, which is a displacing technology, where you have to lift up and away and move those structures out of the way. The benefit of using a hyperacute or non-displacing blade is that you can get, almost always get a really good view of the glottic structures. The problem is that because it is no longer a line of sight intubation, you can't always get the tube to go where you want it to. That's where the tube comes in. With some of these devices, with the non-channel blade, you have to use a rigid stylet. The channel allows you to avoid doing that. So we always use the channel blade and that's my tip.